Hello YouTube, this is uh, Moss Oak, and today we are going to talk about some different types of tape measures. So, we have the standard Stanley bullet tape measure, you know, this one is a 16 foot, um, you know, and everybody's got these, great, real handy, you know, obviously they're pretty heavy duty, drop them, doesn't matter. They have, um, it's a steel band in them that all the numbers are on and everything. And obviously, you can stretch way out. Contractors love these, homeowners love them. They're pretty much a good all around tape measure. Um, another one that pretty much has everybody seen since like grade school the normal, just straight ruler. This one, you know. Also has centimeters on it. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, centimeters and has inches. Um, so obviously you've seen those. Some of them that you might not have seen or haven't seen in a while. Probably if you're younger, you haven't seen them. These are generally an older style thing. Is a butterfly one. It opens up. It's small. It's a little pocket one. But these are pretty cool. Another one you might not have seen is one like this. Basically opens up like that and then it folds out. So, as you can see, folds, folds, and goes like that. So, there's a little, little piece of metal and a hole that fits together and it goes so. And another style you might not have seen, or you might see sometimes in antique stores or whatever, is these. And these are actually pretty hard to find. So are these. People, uh, well, these things get broken all the time because they're made out of wood. So we have a couple of these we've collected over the years. And I mean, they're, you can use them, you know, they're like any other ruler or anything. We keep them more just for shits and giggles and just to have them. Let's bring back some memories and stuff. Besides that, since we're on the subject, let's bring up squares and some other similar devices. Let me grab this. Let me grab a speed square. One like this. A large square. Something like this. So, here's. You get a large square like this. I think you guys can see it. Yeah, you should be able to see it from there. But a large square like this. Something was called a speed square. Um, and all these do 45s. This one also. <laughs> has a button on the top, you know, it has a lot of sauce. We don't use this one too much, we use the other one. Um, this one kind of sits on the shelf. Still works though. And this one you can adjust to make it go up or down the track by sliding it. Eh, maybe this one's finally seized up. Nope. Okay. Well, it moves up and down the track, basically. And it's great, you can do 45s, whatever. Speed square is a similar thing. It's just an instant 45 and you could just blow through stuff. It's got inches on the side. It's got over here two. Let's see. Tells you top cuts, pivot. This one's made by Swanson. These again are from like the 50s. They last freaking forever, so reason this one is also from the 50s I'm pretty sure and they last forever I mean once you get you know a good set of rulers you don't go through them that often unless you break them for some stupid reason which is not to happen but as I preach all the time quality is key 
Um, the better quality, you know, the longer it's going to last. Common sense stuff, but finding, buying stuff once. I'd rather buy something once than go buy it three or four times because it keeps breaking or whatever over time. And it's, it's also just a confidence factor. You know, when I go to grab something, you know, tape measures and speed squares and stuff are not are not the most important thing ever but if I go to grab a drill or something I really want it to work and I want it I want it to be reliable so this is Moss Oak 3 thank you for watching please subscribe